Mamas, in less than three years, you can conceive a child, give birth to a child, teach it to walk, talk, function in all kinds of amazing humanly ways. So why should we be so surprised when a hustling mama like Elizabeth Sutton sitting right next to Hi me guys. is able to create a gorgeous art brand in less than three years. Stick around, grab that cup of joe, and Elizabeth is going to share her secrets to hustling success. Mama. So we are in Elizabeth Sutton's artist studio and I love how you describe your art as geometric, colorful, balanced, and very mindful placement. But what colorful you, words would you use to describe your mornings with your munchkins? So I have two little munchkins, Miro, he'll be four, and Nora, she'll be two. So I would say it's an imbalanced combo of crazy chaos and cuddles. They start by coming into my bed, we snuggle for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then it's time to get to business. I get in the shower, my nanny starts to chip in, and she helps me get them dressed, and we rush out the door. I drop my son by school, but it's uh, music going on, kisses, but in a rush. <laughs> but it's, it's like a, a crazy, it's a team effort. It's, it's, it's a team effort to get, it, get them out the door, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I like that. Te is, do you have a painting like that? Team I do, actually. Okay, I, we need to look into that one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Because I think one of the biggest mistakes that Young Mong makes, and I, I made this up until literally three months ago, was not having enough help on the home front so you can manage the business front. Mm -hmm. Right. I would, I would actually never be able to function with any semblance of sanity on the business front if I wasn't sure that my kids were taken care of by someone that they that loved them, that was responsible, so I have peace of mind. What is the most challenging part of, of being um, a mom entrepreneur and growing your art business? Because it's not just painting, there's a brand here. So I would say my biggest problem is I have a lot of mommy guilt. I am time poor because I need to give my kids time. Time poor. Another good one. I love it. Another painting, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I need to learn to say no more. I have a lot of opportunities that cross my plate, um, but I need to focus on quality over quantity, and I already apply that to my kids. Now I really need to apply that to my work as well. That's, I think that's a really good lesson for any mom or even any aspiring entre entrepreneur out there is just picking the projects and learning, like you said, when to say no. Um, what are some of the skills that you've learned from your mom life that you apply to your boss life right here in this studio? Definitely my kids have made me more patient. Patience is a virtue. It unfortunately wasn't one of my strengths, but having two little crazy kids <laughs> makes you be patient. Um, and when I am at work, I function on a thousand miles per hour. And sometimes I kind of want people to function at that speed too. And when I'm dependent on answers from other people, I could get frustrated, but I've learned to become more patient and, and just take a deep breath. Um, now, how many hours, because I follow this crazy cat on Instagram, so I think I might know the answer to this. How many hours do you sleep? And how many hours do you paint? <laughs> so, I'd say I paint about uh, 40 hours a week because I do paint almost all the hours of my days when I'm in my studio while on calls or talking to my assistant Jillian. And then I do other work after hours. Sleep is not a concept that I quite understand so well. I love that. Sleep is not a concept I understand. I wish I was better at it. It's something I've struggled with since I'm actually a child, oh. so it's not anything new, but it's gotten worse since my kids, sometimes my son sleeps in my bed, he kicks me in the face, Nora's up. They're not <laughs> oh, good sleepers. And when I get into my, when my creative juices get yeah. flowing, honestly, that's a big um, impediment to what allows me to sleep. I will be dreaming about tile patterns and wanting to write things down on my to-do lists and concepts, and so I'm not the best sleeper. Now, how much like sleep do you actually think you need? Because like, there are some people that say, like, uh, allegedly, our president says he only needs that. This is not maybe the best comparison, but he, he's, he needs like four or five hours of sleep. And there are people like that. Can, can you function on that? Because I think you can. That is how it. I function. I, is you asked an answer. I didn't want to give you the exact hours. Um, I probably sleep about four hours a night. It's not so healthy, no. but that's what I get. 
It is what it is. <laughs> I, I know, wish I got more. There's legitimately apparently some people that can function. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but there are apparently people who can function. She functions, but I wish you more sleep. Um, <laughs> so you are currently a, a single um, mom. You're divorced from your ex-husband. Yes. How has motherhood changed since you be since you've become a live alone mom? So I think it has definitely become much harder to be a single mother. I have a I wasn't working when I first had my son and my career started after my first son, but I started working a lot more after my divorce, of course. So my responsibilities just increased. I have um, physical custody more or less, so I have my kids much more often. And I feel like I have a lot of responsibilities for a 28 year old. I need to cram a lot of things in in a 24 hour day. Um, and also, you know, I happen, I'm grateful to have a very good divorce, but my ex-husband and I make it be that way. And sometimes that's really challenging. I mean, I think that's, that's a challenge that sort of like, it's not even just your sidebar, it is there. And you kind of roll with it and you do talk about it on Instagram. By the way, tell, please tell everybody your account on Instagram because you guys have to follow her. If you want momspiration, if you want to look at beautiful art, what's your Instagram account? Or if account? you want to like laugh at my craziness. Yeah, um, that too. <laughs> Elizabeth Sutton Collection. My name is Elizabeth Sutton. Um, my right here. My name is Elizabeth Sutton Collection. You can check it out. I'm on stories all day long. Thank Where you. can everybody find your stuff on your website and your Instagram handle? So you can find it at ElizabethSuttonCollection.com. You can see all my products online, my fine art prints, some of my fine art. I will be releasing a lot more products coming. Soon. Yeah, we do absolutely want to show the clutches because yes. she's putting out clutches. And these are so cute and there's new ones always coming out. So these yes. are awesome. And my packaging is going to be like a secondary product in and of itself. So I love that you are not a trained artist. Whatever you guys think like a trained artist is, but you're not a trained artist. Um, you know, why did you start painting? And this was by the, oh, by the way, only in 2015 that you picked up a paintbrush. So what, what made you start painting? I had done crafts as hobbies over the years, some collage art and glitter art. Um, and then we were redecorating my nursery when my son was being born and I didn't want to put glitter in his room. So I said, I'm going to try to paint. And that's when I picked up a paint brush for the first time ever. Sure. I made three paintings. They're still in my ex-husband's house in his nursery. <laughs> I and, love that. Uh, and over the years, people had asked me when they had come to my home and saw my glitter art or my collage to make them artwork. I never took them seriously. After that, I put it on Instagram, the paintings, and someone basically reached out and said they just moved. Would I paint them something? I wow. said yes. And then I hit up a lot of the people who asked me over the years. A bunch of them said yes. And I was like, okay. So this is like... So you started painting in 2015 and then like 2016? October 2015. Oh my gosh, you know it. You I know, know exactly it. when. I received a phone call from um, a man named Ryan, Ryan Serhant. He is on a TV show called Million Dollar Listing. So you were on Million Dollar Listings. Your paintings were on Million Dollar Listings. You've been um, profiled in Entrepreneur Magazine, The New York Post. You have amazing collaborations. What would you say is your secret sauce to success? Because I think there's a lot of moms out there and they think, you know, I don't know, like I've maybe been out of the game or I want to start something new. I've been making like jewelry, whatever it is. I've been painting. What is your tip? I would say my tip for success, I have a few. Primarily, first of all, you have to work hard. Hustle, hustle, hustle. You can actually have no talent, but if you hustle, you can be successful. Um, network to get work is one of my beliefs. You oh. have to put yourself out there. You, this one is like a super ninja networking genius. And you do events too where you teach people like how to network. Because that's a skill. But yesterday I had an event here, a networking yeah. event. I made every single person, I created a spreadsheet. First, last, your business, your Instagram handle, your email. I said, I'm going to create a list and I'm going to share it with you all. And this is how you start building yep. your lists. But I would say, a very important thing to learn in business. Don't take anything personally. So if if you are trying to do something new and somebody tells you no, don't get hurt, don't get insulted. It wasn't the right opportunity. Move on to the next opportunity. You're gonna receive, I'm gonna say, three no's for every yes. Yeah, I always say you have to be like, no bulletproof. If you wanna launch a business, you have to put on that like, no bulletproof armor because they're gonna come at you, always. Right. Lastly, I'd say it's very important to surround yourself by smart people. I become smart because I s surround myself by smarter people who teach me things. This, this came out of nowhere. How am I supposed to know how to do certain things, especially in, from a business level? 
when I don't know what I'm doing. So I consult with mentors, advisors. I think it's very important to find one or two mentors who are willing to give you just a little bit of time to teach you. So you can't hustle if you don't feed your soul and take care of yourself. So what is the one thing that you have to do for yourself to be a healthy, happy Liz? As I'm sure a lot of moms out there are laughing and saying, I barely have five minutes to eat. But you know you need to do it. So I wish I did it more, but I make sure it's every Saturday and Sunday without fail. If I'm in New York, whether I have my kids or I don't have my kids that weekend, I am at Barry's Boot Camp at 9, 10 or 10, 20. Getting out my aggression, getting an hour to myself. I send my children with my mother and my nanny to groups in Temple. They play, I get about three hours. Nice, that, yeah. so I mean, that is golden. And I think even embedded within that, just a reminder again, mamas, that there is no shame in the help game. As somebody who did the, oh, I did the wrong thing for five years. You know, we, we've been talking like off camera about like nannies. I only got a full-time nanny. Um, three months ago and I've gone through two since then but because it was so difficult to run a business so very good tip and very good self-care with Barry's Bootcamp look them up because they're intense if you're in New York and you've never very tried intense. it what's the one mom non-negotiable that you have to do sort of that one must that you don't want to miss or that's your special time so I have a bunch but if I had to choose one and I mentioned mentioned it earlier because I mentioned it in relation to business it's quality over quantity because I do work a lot you know, I was getting, I have emails or social media to do 24 seven, right? But my priority is my children. So if I don't focus on my children, what am I working so hard for? I, after I realized that every day, I try and get home no later than six. I do two hours uninterrupted. I put my phone down. Maybe I'll take a picture or a short video to capture some content. I upload it later. They get me two hours. Doesn't matter what we do, dance, playroom, dinner, bath time, reading a book, watching TV, going for ice cream, two hours. Well, mamas, we are sending you positive vibes and good experiences your and way. And a lot of hustle, energy. Of course, <laughs> a lot of hustle from this hustling mama, Elizabeth Sutton, thank you so much. So hustle your own special way and don't forget to check back here for more Hustle Like a Mom chats. Bye, mamas.